I often think, how is it that I'm here? My father was at D-Day. He was a British soldier. His father was in the British Army at Gallipoli. Multiply the statistics and here I am today. So I'm very grateful to be here. But perhaps I'm not um, as careful with my life as I should be. Um, I did parachuting at university. My mother hated that. She only wanted a call once I'd got down on the ground. I remember um, the first jump was fine. The second jump was where my face was green. And I remember the jump master. He's the guy who basically pushes you out of the plane. Um, he was smiling at me. My face must have looked like death warmed up. I mean, you know. Um, anyway, the, the lines developed and I, and I got down on the ground. And you had to land right where they said you had to land because over there was the sea and over there was, I think it was Aspinall's. There was a zoo with um, open air tigers and lions watching the meat coming down out of the sky. So I survived that. But um, the, the two times where I've really was that close uh, from death, uh, one was I was at Tequesquitengo, which is a lake outside Mexico City, and they had a board, I like diving a lot, and they had a board, and it wasn't sticking out too far from the edge of the, of the lake. Never dive into a pool or a lake you don't know. And so I did a fancy dive where I put myself up on the hands and tipped over. And when I went in, this boulder on the edge went straight by my ear, nearly took my, my head off. If I had had my cranium centimeters to one side, my brains would have been all over the place. So I was really shaken by that. And then just downtown, hundreds of yards from where I'm sitting now, I went shopping at Christmas time uh, a couple of years ago. And I went up the ramp of this multi-story car park. And one of the guys there said, sir, it's not a good idea what you're doing because cars were actually coming down the ramp where I was going up. I had loads of bags. So I deposited the bags and there was a little kind of little stairway. I was wearing trainers with a good grip and I was coming down and I had my hand on the wall. I remember this distinctly. I was coming down very slowly. Suddenly, I'm through a hole in the wall. I fall through between two buildings. Now some construction worker, thank God, had, hadn't cut off a, a beam that stuck out from the side of the building. So I was draped over this beam. I had excruciating pain in my back. It took me about a year of therapy to, to get right. But um, if that beam hadn't stopped me, I would have been right down the bottom, dead between two buildings. So they looked through the hole, why they had a hole in the wall, I, and I have no memory of doing that action, that angle. They grabbed me and I walked to where I knew my family was, and I shouldn't have because my back was killing me. Um, but that was uh, the other time where um, I, I had the near-death experience. I think the, the stupidest one was obviously the diving because I had control over that. But this one came out of nowhere. I was suddenly through a hole in the wall. It was a bit like um, a, a nasty version of the, the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe where you go through this hole at the back of a cupboard. Um, but it, this one was a really nasty one.